Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Mackenzie Bard. Happy Sunday. Hopefully you're able to get out there and enjoy a little bit of the warmth because now we have some storms rolling into our area. We're not really expecting a big severe threat with some of these storms, but definitely the potential for a stronger one is there and can't roll out a severe, at least one <laughs> severe storm um, throughout the next few hours. But now that we're getting things going, that means this is going to be out of here pretty quickly. Most of us should be in the clear by 7, 8 o'clock. But let's get to our radar. Actually, let's start with our tower camera because you can see looking a little bit spooky out there already as we uh, see this line pushing on in. So here it is right now. Um, you can see this is the cold front uh, associated with it. Let me get uh, my little pointer here. Here we are. So here, this is um, brought on by the cold front. Once this moves on out of here, much cooler air is going to be behind it. It's definitely going to be a big shock to the system. Now, we've already seen some pretty gusty conditions uh, with a few of these storms. We had a 51 mile per hour wind gust um, near Marion and then also a 53 mile per hour wind gust. That was closer to Ottawa County, so well off to our west. But again, a few of these uh, storms could bring some gusty conditions, seeing the heavier rain and also plenty of uh, some frequent lightning. Right now, just south of the Worcester area, uh, we have a nice little thunderstorm there. These are all moving off to the north and east, heading south of that Millersburg. Nice little thunderstorm for you. Yesterday, uh, those thunderstorms are a little bit more isolated and, and scattered, meaning not all of us saw the action, but today, kind of all of us get in this nice little line of storms and then back behind it, uh, just some plain old rain. Once that moves on through um, this line of storms that is, then we'll see some quieter conditions. Only one severe thunderstorm uh, warning and that's well to our south uh, for folks uh, south of the Cambridge area. Um, actually a little bit closer to West Virginia it looks like, um, but uh, that will last until about 3.30. Pegging it back into our area, Again, not really uh, seeing too much in terms of any severe weather, but definitely some uh, pretty nasty storms out there. So hopefully you guys were able to enjoy um, some of the calmer conditions earlier today. D, um, hi D, thanks for hopping on. Uh, Sandra, no, not again, I'm moving to Chattanooga. <laughs> they get some storms there too. Um, Unfortunately, we're going to get some snow after our storms, not uh, anything too widespread, but definitely some cooler air. Beth, how depressing. I, I promise in the eight-day forecast there is some better weather. How long is it? Um, how long is it storming in Akron? So we'll put a little bit of a track on this, actually. So you may be seeing a few sprinkles here or there, but these storms are expected to be closer to the Akron area right around 348. So if you're out enjoying it, uh, maybe you're tidying up the yard, you still got about 20 minutes before that reaches you, but probably a uh, time to head inside. Nancy says cloudy in Rena. Uh, yep, you still got a little while before that heads your way. Um, this uh, system here will be a little bit closer to Kent right around four o'clock. Uh, and then it'll be at near Maslin right around 340 and Brunswick at 330. Sandra said, did I hear you say snow? Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Yeah, we do have the chance for a few snowflakes, at least wet snowflakes, nothing that'll accumulate, but yeah, you may see a one or two fly through the air depending on where you're living. Uh, what about Cleveland? We're actually starting to see the bulk of the system inch on in right now. Let me zoom in on where we are seeing that. Now it's hard because our radar site is sitting right here. Let me take you to our kind of moving radar. So we're seeing that kind of uh, approach the region here uh, right now, moving into Lakewood and even North Olmsted. So I'd say about 15 minutes, maybe at the, at the most, uh, we were really starting to see this move in. Strongsville, Broadview Heights, uh, picking up on some showers and some heavier rain. Hasn't quite ye reached uh, the west side of Cuyahoga County yet. Um, has not reached uh, our friends in the snow belt either. Uh, again, just kind of moving through uh, off to the west to the east. So Brunswick starting to see some of the heavier rain here in the next few minutes. Uh, Medina, that'll be there in maybe five minutes. Um, and then heading closer to Wadsworth, uh, you're about to see some of the heavier rain and a few storms 
Got a good storm uh, closer to Tuscarawas. That'll be heading your way probably in the next uh, 15, 20 minutes or so. So we'll take off our moving radar too because that can be uh, a little bit on the uh, tough side. All in all, I'm going to put one uh, um, of these trackers here on this line. It's moving right around 40 miles per hour to the north and east. Um, so looking to be near Menor right around 4 o'clock. That means for folks well off to our east, like near Ashtabula County, still maybe have like a, an hour or two before that reaches you. Um, it'll be closer to uh, Willoughby at 357, Cleveland Heights 343. Hopefully that helps some of you guys out. I'm trying to uh, read everybody's comments. Harry says we received a tease of warm weather. Now we may suffer. <laughs> that is true. It, it was it was so beautiful while we had it. Uh, I think next week's going to be a little bit hard. Sharon says yay rain. I do think we we do need the rain. So um, I know my yard needs the rain. So we, we'll take it. Um, I don't think we're going to like the cooler temperatures that come behind it, but we definitely do need the rain. We're in a deficit uh, so far. We haven't seen too much there. All right, we'll come back to this radar in a second. Let's get to the rest of the forecast. So temperature-wise, still sitting pretty comfortable. Uh, Akron Canton, Cleveland, Ashtabula, Youngstown, we're all in the mid to upper 70s. But you can see exactly where that cold front is making an impact. Uh, we are seeing some much cooler air uh, behind it. Toledo, Finley already in the 50s. So we're about to see that here uh, in the next few hours. Once that system clears our way, we'll see some of that cooler air. And just kind of a little future cast on our temperatures. It's going to be a quick jump uh, heading into work. Um, temperatures were in the 80s. <laughs> Leaving work tonight and prepared to head home to the 40s. So if you've kind of shut off the air, maybe you've had the windows open, it might be time to close those up and uh, get ready to turn the heat back on because things are going to turn chilly for the next few days. Here's our hour by hour forecast. So that main bulk of the system expected to push off to the east right around 5, 6 o'clock, but it'll be out of here by 7 o'clock moving into Pennsylvania. And then once we get into Monday, Monday is going to be a little bit on the uh, cool and gross side. I'm trying to think of a good word for it. Uh, we'll see a few scattered showers move in early Monday. That's thanks to the low that moves on in. And then uh, drizzle, some sleet, maybe even a wet snowflake or two, pretty much covering the area Monday afternoon, changing into rain throughout Monday evening. But then Monday night into Tuesday, we'll see a few lake effect flurries set up uh, for our snow belt region. And that's going to be right in here. So folks in Ashtabula Lake and Geauga County, even some parts of northeastern Cuyahoga County, you may see a few snowflakes if you're getting up early on Tuesday. Nothing that's really expecting to accumulate too much, uh, but uh, we will uh, be feeling a little bit more like winter, kind of going into the reverse. So um, just a quick peek at the eight-day forecast because we are asking, do you want to know when we're going to get some warmer temperatures? Well, it is going to come in the kind of tail end of things heading into next week. Monday, Tuesday, bit of a shock to the system, 40s, but we'll be back in the 50s, near 70 by Thursday, Friday. Next chance for rain, Friday into Saturday, and that'll cool temperatures off again. And we'll kind of see a stretch of some cooler air, but it does look like later on this upcoming week, we will get that warmer air back in here. All right, let's get back to the radar. Um, someone asked if uh, gum, gusty temperatures, um, or gusty winds, gusty temperatures, <laughs> you can see. Uh, will we get inches of snow? No. Um, I really don't think anything will stick. Our, our ground's just really too warm. Temperatures will still be warm. Maybe you'll see uh, a very light dusting if you're leaving the car outside um, for a while, maybe on top of that. But all in all, we're no, not really expecting anything to accumulate. Um, a few of these storms could have some gusty conditions. We're expecting um, wind gusts could reach 40, um, maybe even 50 miles per hour in a few of these stronger storms. Seems like the um, most lightning we are seeing is kind of south of our area near Worcester and then even into parts of central Ohio. So they're kind of seeing some of the stronger storms. Things are kind of falling apart a little closer to the Brunswick region. 
Still hearing some thunder and lightning though. Uh, now moving into, seems like Cleveland area. Uh, this is where our radar site is, so it gets a little bit tough to see. Let's move back to this radar, yep. So things are starting to move into here, but it does seem like the storms are also kind of falling apart uh, over the lake. So hey, we like to see that. Uh, we can get rid of some of these thunderstorms. We'll take the rain because we need it, but uh, no thunderstorms, please. <laughs> Okay, well, we will leave you with this latest look at the radar. Um, if we have any warnings, we'll be sure to pop back on here. You'll be the first to know. You can always stay updated to the forecast online at fox8.com underneath the forecast discussion. We're always updating that. Um, and again, if we uh, have any severe weather heading your way, we'll be sure to pop back on. So uh, make sure you keep your phone on along with you. Thankfully, these should be out of the area right around 7, 8 o'clock. And then we'll be on at 10 o'clock tonight talking more about the cooler air and the snow that we had mentioned in the forecast. All right, everybody have a great evening. Stay safe.